Welcome back to my predictions show, where I will give you all the predictions from this week's football coming up, and I will also begin with telling you my predictions from last week and how I did from last week's predictions. But first, the game that you are seeing on the screen is Lazio versus Juventus, and that game is on Saturday. It is one of the game of the weeks on FIFA 14. Game that you probably enjoy watching. Not sure what channel it's on, but it should be a good game. I enjoy playing it, so hopefully you guys will enjoy watching me play this game and maybe enjoy watching it on Saturday night if you're not out and about doing whatever you do on a Saturday night. But let's jump straight into the predictions, where now I'll be telling you my predictions from last week and how I did from them predictions. So if you watched last week's show, you'll know what I predicted and I'm giving you that review right now and telling you exactly how I did and how I didn't do and that's more likely this week is how I didn't do very well so we'll start off with a Derby versus Brighton game where I predicted a 2-0 win for Derby County and I did say last week it was a stab in the dark didn't know which way it was going to go didn't know much about either club at the moment because I haven't followed them but I got the result right, but not the score. Derby did win, but only 1-0. And that was a late-on winner, from what I saw watching the um, special pr program with uh, telling me everything going on every minute and people around the country telling it, have a guess what I was watching. And I don't know if I can say what I was watching due to copyright or anything, but... I'm sure you can have a guess what I was watching. Now we'll uh, go on to the Palace versus Stoke game, where I was very torn, as you may remember. I wasn't sure if it was going to be... I thought it was going to be one all, but then I remembered Stoke having lost that 5-3 thriller the week before. So I changed my mind to a Stoke 1-0 win, and none of that mattered because... It was a Palace 1 0 win. So both predictions were wrong. It wasn't a draw, it wasn't a Stoke win. It was a Crystal Palace 1 0 win. So, put a big cross next to that one. I failed on that one completely. Then we had Norwich versus Hull, where I predicted a 0 0 draw, an eventful 0 0 draw. Well, I was right up until about the 89th minute, where Norwich nicked the win and won 1 0, which was quite disappointing because I thought good I've got one result right but apparently not Norwich had to nick it at the end and took my perfect score away from me on that one but oh well it was already gone in this next match anyway because Man City versus Cardiff I predicted a 3-0 win for Man City and Cardiff made it 1-0 and at that point all my predictions out the window I hadn't got I couldn't get all six right at that point, but that game didn't stop, and it was a 4-2 win for Man City. Don't know how Cardiff got that many goals from it, but either way, they came out sc came out scoring somehow, but I'm not sure how they did against Man City. But that one, a big cross. Well, not a big cross, it's a little cross because I got the score wrong, but I got the result right. Man City win. Then Ivory also predicted the... West Ham versus Newcastle game where I predicted that Newcastle would win 2-1 and again just like the Norwich game I was spot on until the 90th minute when it, a goal went in thanks to Jan Kabaya and made it 3-1 to Newcastle as a Newcastle fan I was thrilled but then as trying to do the predictions I was a bit upset because I had that one spot on as well and that would have given me two correct if those two hadn't scored. But, oh well. Didn't get the score right, but I got the result right. And then, also predicted Arsenal versus Fulham. I predicted 2-1 to Arsenal. I thought Fulham could get one back. But that was wrong as well. Arsenal came out 2-0 winners. Fulham couldn't get a goal back. Weren't really in it that much, from what I heard. But, it did take... 
late on for Arsenal to get a goal at all. So I was almost there. Just needed one more goal, but that's a cross off because I got the didn't get the score right, but I got the result right. Was what I was trying to say just then. But now we'll go to that golden minute, the magic minute, whatever you want to call it. I've keep forgetting that I called it the magic minute, so I'll remember from now and it's magic minute where I predicted I think it was the seventeenth minute where I got it almost right, so very close, but it was actually the fourteenth minute when Edin Dzeko put the first goal in the back of the net from those six games. So did quite well, got some results right, but no scores right. But this week is a very special week. It's the week that most football fans look forward to because you normally see some upsets. It's the week of the underdog versus the Giants, the week of the Giant Killers, whatever else you want to call it. But the word, the name of it is FA Cup Weekend, where we've got some very good games this weekend and a true underdog coming up. In the first game that I'll be be predicting. And that one is Sunderland versus Kidderminster Harriers. That's right. Kidderminster Harriers are still there. Having knocked out Peterborough in the last round. I think it was a 3-2 win for them. What I do know of them is that they're in the Conference Premier Division. And they are sixth at the moment. So they are pushing promotion to get out of non-league football. And shoot themselves into the league football. But... Sunderland have just made it to a cup final this week. They are in the Capital One Cup final and I think that will push them on to do well. I think that's going to give them all the confidence they need. I don't think Kidderminster will be able to hold them off for long. So I am saying that it's going to be a Sunderland 3-0 win because I just don't see Kidderminster will be able to hold them off when Sunderland are probably on a massive high having got to the final. So I don't really see them able to knock them off that perch just yet. But you never know. It is FA Cup, so it's very hard to predict what the scores are going to be. Next up, we have Southampton versus Yeovil. Yeovil in the championship and not doing so well this year. They are 23rd in the league. Right down the bottom, right in relegation zone. So will they be able to beat a side that has done so much better than was thought they were going to do at the beginning of the season in the Premier League and knock them off the perch and knock them out of the FA Cup? I don't think so. I don't think they will have it in them to do it. They did knock out Leighton Orient, but you'd expect them to knock out a team like Leighton Orient because it's below them. They won 4 0 comfortably, but haven't done anything really since from what I've seen. They're still in relegation zone. They haven't pushed on from that with that little bit of confidence. So I don't think they can do it against Southampton. I don't see a giant killing in this one. So I will say it's going to be Southampton 2, Yeovil 0. But the third game is Wigan versus Crystal Palace. And this is where I see the cup upset. Wouldn't really say giant killer because I think they're both on the same kind of level. So maybe not even an upset. But Palace having not been that great this season. Wigan not having been great this season. It could be a very good game. But I think Wigan are going to steal it. And come out and go into the draw for Sunday. And they will win 2-1 is my reckoning. Don't really see much happening in it. Just a couple of goals here and there. And Palace going out of the FA Cup. And playing like they have done all season. And not being very good. Then we have Bolton versus Cardiff. Now Bolton are coming out. Of that absolutely demoralising loss to Reading. 7-1 loss. Anyone... Who plays in a game of 7-1, loss, heads will be down. I don't care who you are, what you say. 
your heads are going to go down and it's not going to be a pretty sight for a little while. And then having to play a Premier League side the week after makes it that bit harder because you've got to try and get your head up quicker and get ready for the game. But can Bolton do it? I don't think so. Cardiff haven't exactly been that great this season, but they haven't been that bad either. Nothing exciting, nothing great. But then they're getting to face a side like Bolton, whose heads are going to be down almost from the get-go, really. All Cardiff need to do is get that first goal, and it's over. Bolton won't recover from going a goal down. So I reckon Cardiff will come out 3-0 winners quite easily in the end, especially if we can get an early goal, and that'll be it. Well, we also have Birmingham versus Swansea. Now, I'll admit, Birmingham, I don't really know much about. don't know where they are in the league. I guess they've got to be up near the playoffs and doing well at the moment, but not well enough to be in there. But just let me know how wrong I am. I could be very wrong. They could be right up near the top of the table. But will they do well against a team like Swansea, who have done pretty well in the last two years, I would say now? They've... Got Wilfred Bonney. I think he's either out or he's not scoring. Either way, he I don't see him getting on the score sheet at the moment. Can't remember if he was actually injured or not. So that's one that I'm not too sure. That's why I'd be terrible at this whole um, dream team stuff and whatever. Um, fantasy football, that's the one. But I do see Swansea going into the next round and taking their place in the fifth round draw for Sunday but not massively it's going to be like the Wigan game it's going to be close but Swansea are going to come out the winners with a 2-1 win and book themselves in for a fifth round tie where they'll be hoping to get a home game I'm sure they will be but on to the sixth game and final game of the week where we have got the rampant Manchester City Versus the championship side of Watford. So what what can really be said about this one apart from Man City are just on a goal scoring rampage at the moment. They've already scored over 100 goals this season now. That's got to be somewhere near a record. And I I don't know, it's just not going to happen at the moment for Watford in this game. Man City are on an absolute rampage. They are going to kill Watford out there. So, my prediction for this game is a bit of a rampage. I don't see Watford really doing anything in this game. So, I reckon it is going to be a Man City 4 Watford nil, because no team in the Premier League can actually stop Man City at the moment. I, I, but anyway, that is the predictions for this week, and that leaves me only to give you one more prediction for the week, and that is the magic minute, the minute of the first goal for these six games, twelve teams. I can tell you who I think will get the first goals. It'll either be Cardiff or Man City. And I reckon it'll be early on, not in the first minute or second, not that early. But I reckon the minute for this week's magic minute is the ninth minute. See, at the ninth minute, an early goal, either killing off Watford or killing off Bolton, that is where it lies for me. But that pretty much does it for this week's prediction show. There are the predictions. If you stay tuned to the channel, there are a lot more series on here to follow up on and enjoy watching. Leave a comment on this video as well. Let me know what you think the predictions for this week are going to be in this FA Cup special. But for now, hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you sort of agree with the predictions, but that's the magic of predictions. It could be... 
anything. Everyone's got a different opinion on something. No one's going to have the exact same predictions. So, for now, this has been Theo Patters. This is my prediction show, and I'll see you later. I remember times when I never shined It was so hard to believe I didn't want to be lost in life I came out from underneath I felt the weight of the world crashing down on me But now I'm looking out And it's my victory